On these four examples, we want to write these exponential equations as logarithmic equations. There's a method for this. Starting with a, 5 cubed equals 125. Okay, here's how you do it. The base here is 5, so that stays the base in your logarithmic uh, equation here. So log base 5. Okay, now this exponent here goes way out to the outside of your logarithmic equation. So this is going to be equals 3 out here, and then the 125 or whatever is here on the other side of the equal sign goes inside the log, 125. So log base 5 of 125 equals 3 is the logarithmic equation that corresponds to that exponential equation. And that same method will work for all of these. Let's try b. We have 10 to the fourth equals 10,000. Okay, so the base here is 10, so we'll be working with log base 10. Okay, this exponent goes way out to the right, so equals 4, and then this 10,000 comes inside, 10,000. Log base 10 of 10,000 equals 4, logarithmic form of that equation. This doesn't just work with integers, it works with all kinds of different expressions. So for C, we have an exponential equation, pi to the fifth equals y. Well, it's the same technique, right? Our pi becomes the base, so this is this is strange. You don't see this very much, but log base pi, the 5 goes way out, so equals 5, and then back inside we have this y. Log base pi of y equals 5. All right, not so bad. Let's try d. We have 3 to the negative 4. The same thing works with negative exponents. 3 to the negative 4 equals 1 over 81. Okay, log... 3 is the base up top, so 3 will still be the base in our log equation. The negative 4 goes way out here, so equals negative 4. 1 over 81 comes inside. Over 81. There we go, so log base 3 of 1 over 81 equals negative 4.